welcoming everyone really quick video for this one uh this is the gate unlocking because i've just managed to complete all the quests to unlock the first gate so this is what happens so i'm going to be able to show you what happens uh you get this notification saying that you've unlocked the gate and then it just sits there it doesn't just unlock itself so if you want to chill there in that little area and keep your level cap at level 63 you absolutely can do that which i think is a good addition because you can stay there and you can farm your roaming monsters indefinitely for as long as you want to get as many drops of serenity as you want obviously i'm just going to go straight through um but there's a little bit of player choice in there you can decide if you want to chill there at level 63 and gather more drops of serenity before you push forward and then i was interested to see what the requirements on the next gate were cog tells you here that there's another gate We already knew that there was going to be another gate, but I wanted to see what the requirements were for the second gate. Since the first one, it took a week to unlock, we had to do the Dark Onslaught dungeon seven times. So I'm guessing that this one is going to take a while to unlock. So to beat this gate, you're going to have to defeat Achilles, the second gatekeeper, get to level 66 have one weapon at level 66 and four pieces of armor at level 66 you've also got to beat the expert rift twice okay you got to beat all seven bosses twice um but that that's already counted the ones that i did from last week so i don't think it even matters where you are that one will count the one that is going to take a while is have four heroes at level 66 now that's going to take a while because we're going to have to get the drops of serenity um i haven't seen them in the guild shop yet i think they are supposed to be in the guild shop but then they encountered a bug and they didn't appear in the guild shop so who knows we could be waiting until next week for that to get fixed um but four heroes at level 66 so what i would recommend for you to do is to save up and still level up to past level 65 the just the first two and then start working on two more because to get to up to level 65 that's going to cost you 16 which you should already have if you go through the first gate but then to go from 65 to 70 they will probably cost 16 each i'm not entirely sure i'm guessing but based on all the previous levels and stuff it's going to be 16 each, so you're going to need 32 to get your first two up to level 70. And then you're going to need another 48 to level up two more heroes. So, wow. Yeah, that is going to take a while. Um, but yeah, just keep on, keep on checking the roaming monsters and hopefully you will get lucky with the Dark Onslaught dungeon. Um, but yeah, this gate is designed to keep us here and make us work for it to get through. I'm not complaining, I don't mind. Um, it's a bit more refreshing than Canheim where you could just plough through it as quickly as you wanted. This gives you goals that you have to sort of move towards. So I'm not complaining. Uh, but yeah, that is a lot, that's a lot. And so on the screen here, I decided to do the first fight. Um, and we've got new scenery now that we've moved into the new area we've got new scenery and the enemies are mainly beast type which is what i thought they would be um so logan is pretty fantastic so far i've only done this fight i haven't been in this area long i'm gonna move forward and then i'm gonna create more videos and stuff i just wanted to show you what was through the gate and maybe help you decide if you wanted to hang back a little bit because hanging back at level 63 i think is not a bad idea and it's got one of these big minotaur bull things that's got a billion health i don't even know how much health it's got but yeah these things are tanky so i'm going to speed up the video once i get it isolated because it takes so long to kill it and then its power heals it up and gives it fury as well so it heals it up and it makes it do more damage to you so yeah these things are quite annoying 
Um, but because I've got Logan, I can just cancel out his fury with weaken. And even hitting it with Irma's base power, it's not doing that much damage to it on the whole. So yeah, these things are ridiculously tanky. Uh, but that's it from me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I have been James B. Online. Good luck out there.